Today, I will be actually using AI live in front of you to show you how I create an online business using the exact frameworks and models that has allowed me to make millions of dollars in sales by the time I turned 26. And here's a bonus for you. If you watch this video till the end, you will be able to see a QR code which will allow you to download my exact step-by-step -step document where I will be showing you how to build a business using AI along with some of the chat GPT bots that I have developed exclusively for you that literally allows you to copy paste my brain and build your dream business this very year. So in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is number one, I'll show you or explain why exactly you should consider entrepreneurship in case you haven't already thought about it. I'm going to talk a little bit about my story just so that you can get an idea of how I was able to make millions so that I don't turn out to be a fraud showing you how to achieve all these big things, but I myself haven't done it. Then I'm going to show you the solution of being able to actually change your life and then what kind of business you should start. I'm also going to talk about my exact system and business model that you can literally copy and paste and start using literally today. Then I will be using AI and ChatGPT right in front of you in order to craft my perfect business model and put that system into execution mode. I will also show you how you can set up your website and you know begin using the tools available on the internet for absolutely free to literally see your business turn into reality by the time you finish watching this video. In fact, here's a preview of the website that we will be building in this particular program. I'm also going to be giving you the roadmap to $100,000 per year. So let's talk about concept number one, which is why entrepreneurship. Now, it's very important for you to know that right now in the world, income is divided unequally. Did you know that an average American saves up to $500? This means that if there's some sort of emergency, the maximum money that they have in their bank account is $500. And a lot of people don't even have that. On the other hand, an average Indian ends up saving around about 10,000 rupees for rainy days. So if you compare that to, let's say, somebody like Warren Buffet, who in 24 hours makes more than $17 million. Have you ever thought about why is there so much disparity? Well, the first thing that you must realize is income, unlike, let's say, grades that you probably get in school or the normal equality distribution that you are probably used to is not distributed the same way. So this means so 80% of world's wealth is only distributed among 20% of the richest of the richest people. This means that the majority of the 80% of the world is not even close to the top 20% or the top 20% richest people in the globe. And what you must also realize is that just like income, everything else is also divided in such a manner. For example, you might have noticed that you know, 80% of the sunshine only comes from 20% of the countries on Earth. And 80% of the water that we have available on Earth is not even drinkable and is pre present in certain locations. So this 80-20 principle really applies everywhere. And you must understand that if you stay stuck being part of that 80% crowd, which is not having the income that you truly desire, then you will always be stuck in the nine to five rat race, or you will be stuck running a business which requires a lot of your time, but doesn't pump out the kind of profits or returns that you truly desire. So if you want to become part of that exclusive group of individuals that holds the majority of the world's wealth, then you need to start an online business and you really need to consider entrepreneurship why? Because if you really look at the top 10 richest people on earth, they all started a business. The second thing is that there is lack of financial education. So what do I mean by this? The schools and the colleges that you are used to or the schools and the colleges developed by the governments or the institutions or basically the puppet masters. Well, unfortunately, those schools and colleges are only designed to create more labor or workforce that helps the richest people on earth to make more money. Have you ever thought about why schools don't teach you about mortgages or how to actually invest your money or more about taxes or how do you go about taking an idea and turning it into a business. Well, the fact of the matter is, A, of course, they don't know how to do so, especially the people teaching you the same. And the second reason for that is because 
those people do not want you to become part of the wealthiest people on earth they want you to be part of the system which means creating that copy paste workforce so have you thought about you know why these people keep telling you hey go learn power bi right go learn how to actually write chat gpt prompts go learn how to do coding go learn how to do all these skills that they keep advocating well it's because they want you to learn those skills so you can do their jobs for on their behalf and basically continue to make those individuals richer and have you thought about the people who are teaching this stuff in today's time why do they teach those skills as opposed to just applying it for themselves to just make more money because the way you actually make money is to actually making you understand or by fooling you that these are the skills which are going to make you rich because that is what the society wants you to really believe so the fact of the matter is due to lack of financial education a lot of people end up becoming broke and broke because they are becoming part of that copy paste system and just learning those skills going to colleges doing that mba go get that 9 to 5 job which they think that you know after getting that job they have made it in life but then they later realize that a lot of their expenses are barely matching the salary that they are getting which brings me to the next point that there's been a rise in inflation and the cost of living is skyrocketing so if you don't already know back in 2023 there were five major banking failures and everybody is not even taking that into consideration and just going on and living their life but do you realize the implications of banking failures well a lot of times when banking failures happen have you ever thought about how so despite so many banking failures these bankers just get away and you know despite conning the public for so much money they just continue to live their life well the reason for that is because the government comes into the picture and does a bailout right and what do i mean by bailout well the bankers go mess something up go play around with the you know public money uh, or the money that they have for example in 2008 this happened with the housing market and uh, this time it's even worse right so what's really happening is whenever bankers go they think about their own incentives they think about their own greed and then they go and actually make a lot of money using whatever money that people deposits into the bank because that is how banks actually get majority of their funds however when the bankers actually mess up guess who comes to rescue them it's the government and when the government rescues them they go back and like start living their life the way they were and the consequence of this is one thing you must understand that the reason the government is able to bail these individuals out or the way that they are able to uh, you know bail these individuals out or the method or the money that they use to bail these individuals out guess where it comes from it comes from individuals like yourself this comes from the public money it comes from the taxpayers and as a result when these bailouts continue to happen the cost of things keep on rising because you know when public money is going into funding all these banks the trust in the system actually goes down and as a result you know things just keep uh, you know becoming more and more expensive if you don't believe me think about the price of crude oil the food and amenities and whatever basic stuff that you use compare that to the last 5 years or 10 years have you seen the significant rise of all these things well that happens because of a concept called as inflation which is causing individuals to really you know pay a lot more money for the mess up that all these bankers and institutions are doing and the fourth thing that you must understand is a lot of you might think okay rohan cost of things is going up and inflation is rising but that's fine because my salary will increase my job is secured and things will just keep on be- getting better for me but unfortunately that is far away from the truth because if you think about this the average income of an individual is not rising at the rate of how much the inflation is rising just to give you some examples check this out according to fdi see the average hike in salary for an average indian was around about 10% so this basically means that if the real inflation is around about at 12% and your salary hike is at 10% that this means you you are still losing 2% every single year and when you compound this 2% over let's say the next 3 years 5 years 10 years this becomes a lot of money and sometimes even though compounding is the best wonder in you know on earth used negatively or against you it can turn into a big disaster and you must realize that very early on
So here's the thing. If you want to escape this trap that has been set by the society and you want to really make it in life, you really need to consider entrepreneurship because that is the golden gateway that will allow you to be in charge of what you do, the money that you make and where you actually make it so that you can control that and actually live the life that you truly desire. At this point of time, you might be thinking, who is this guy and who's giving me a lecture about actually starting a business and escaping this nine to five trap or this low income trap that he's mentioning? Well, the fact of the matter is that I've been through what you're actually going and I have successfully managed to escape that nine to five trap that a lot of people talk about. So just to give you a little bit brief, my name is Rohan Dhawan and back in the days, I was just an average student in school. This means that I did not appreciate what was going on in the classroom, you know, people talking about you know, historic facts and figures. Honestly, that did not interest me. What I really wanted to know was how can I take more control of my life? How can I achieve financial freedom and do the things that I truly want and desire and build awesome products that people like to use or see? Kind of like how you are seeing this video, which I really found a lot of joy in creating. So back in the days I was in school, I would go about reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad because clearly I wasn't interested in what was going on. And through those books, through those concepts, I was fortunate enough to realize that the trap that has been set up for me as well as my mates studying in the classroom was just set up so that we could become just another copy paste version of the workforce that the institutions and the bad guys actually require. In fact, after I graduated from school and I went to college, I even tried doing some internships and trust me, the first day I went there, I felt like, oh my God, this is like a prison. Everybody sits in these cubicles, do the same thing every single day again and again and, you know, stay there for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And that is something that I just could not imagine myself doing for the rest of my life. So right after one week, I decided goodbye job i'm gonna try to figure out something of my own so i tried out various kind of businesses some of those businesses which i'll talk about in a bit and the fact of the matter is that like how a lot of people tell you oh i started this first business of mine and it was a success it did not happen with me probably i failed with like three four businesses until i came across a business model which i'll be revealing to you in this particular model so the way it got started was i basically was on the internet you know, trying to figure out some way or the other, trying to make things work for me. And suddenly this guy called as Vijay approaches me and he's like, Rohan, you know, you've been sharing all these free videos on YouTube. You've been sharing all this free content on Udemy. Why don't you actually just do all this that you're saying on my behalf and grow my e-commerce store? And back in the days, I was just, you know, an 18 year old kid. And this guy from United States was telling me how to do this. And I just got on a Skype call with him and I said, hey, you know what? Let's try to make that happen and let's see what, what, what happens next, right? I will make you a proposal and I will do whatever you're asking, right, to help you out with your e-commerce store. And he said, all right, great. How much are you going to charge me? And then suddenly I just quoted to him $1,500, right? Why, why did I quote him $1,500? Because I just went to google.com and just, you know, wrote down how much somebody charges to run Facebook ads for an e-commerce store owner unfortunately you did not have videos like such back in the days so it was just totally a random guess i did not expect vijay to pay me but few hours later i see that my paypal invoice had actually been paid and that guy literally transferred me money and you can see the screenshot of his first half payment of 750 dollars that he made in order to you know help me kickstart my first business so I realized this big opportunity and as a result of this, you know, while I was in college, while in, I was in my dorm room, I was able to actually work with similar clients and build a business that was generating me around about $10,000 per month by the time I turned 20. However, after a few years of going through the same, I realized that there was a lot of price inequality and a lot of racism against freelancers, especially those in developing nations like India. So I decided to solve this problem on my own and started this company called as Uability. And since then, you know, I'm going to just cut to the chase. Uh, we have been able to serve 1600 clients and I was able to grow Uability to a seven figure firm. This means we make more than seven figures every single year while working literally from anywhere, while having time freedom that I want and literally while producing enormous cash flows for myself. And this is what allowed me to escape the nine to five trap 
that was laid out by the society to me. So how exactly at such a young age, I was able to make multiple millions in sales? Well, the solution lies in starting a kind of business that allowed me to do the same. This means starting a business that allows me to have the necessary time freedom, the location freedom and enormous cash flows so that I can live the dream that I truly want. So what do I mean by time freedom? Well, time freedom basically means having a business which gives me the flexibility to pick my own times when I want to work and also gives me the freedom to pick and choose the kind of people that I want to work with. And what do I mean by location freedom? By location freedom, I basically means I want to run a business which allows me to be anywhere on earth whether I am in US, whether I'm in Europe, whether I'm in Goa, whether I'm in Bangalore, wherever I am, I want to have the flexibility to be able to run that business using that system without actually being stuck on one particular location. And the fact of the matter is I have done that myself. You see, when I was running my agency that grew to $10,000 per month at the age of 20, I used to serve my clients while I was working in the US, while I was traveling to the UK or somewhere in Europe as well. And you can see the pictures in front of your screen. I was able to manage my clients while also managing my own life. And the third thing is a business needs to produce enormous cash flows because the fact is, unless you're planning to start a big SaaS and get a lot of funding for most business owners, the number one priority is to produce cash flows, because if you're not producing cash and you're not becoming rich yourself, then what's the point of doing all this in the first place? Who are you trying to impress? What ego are you trying to satisfy? It's not going to benefit nobody. Now, after looking at various kind of businesses out there, I decided to come across this one business, which really, really helps a lot to allow me to fulfill all those three check boxes that I just talked about. Do you want to know what that business is? Well, that business is called as high ticket business. Now, let me explain to you what exactly a high ticket business is. Now, a high ticket mentorship business basically allows you to specialize in selling advice or services which allow people to transform their wealth, their health or their relationship. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, by wealth, I mean, let's say that you plan to start a business that allows, let's say, dentists to get high end implant patients and make more money. This means you're helping them transform their wealth by helping them make more money. In exchange of this, you will be able to charge a premium amount for that transformation. The second thing would be or might be is let's say somebody is struggling with various kind of health issues, which is leading to obesity and basically making them pay thousands and thousands of dollars in bills to their hospital, right? And you come into the picture and help them lose that weight so that they can get in shape and get their life back so that they don't have to die at an early age. Do you think that transformation is more than enough to actually charge premium? Absolutely. And then the third scenario might be, let's say you helping out somebody with relationship issues. Let's say there are two partners, they are about to get a divorce and they maybe have children as well. You come into the picture and help those two individuals realize why they got into the marriage in the first place. And as a result of this, they are able to save their marriage. Do you think charging premium for that is worth it? Well, this is the reason why I love this high ticket business. Why? Because it allows you to create such meaningful impact and be proud of the work that you're doing. Now, there are a lot of myths surrounding this high ticket business. Well, the first one is that you need a lot of fancy degrees or you need to go to esteemed colleges to be able to actually do the same. The fact of the matter is that I have done undergraduation, but I have not done MBA or any of that. But till date, after working with 1600 plus clients, not even a single single person has literally asked me that, Hey, Rohan, what is your certification that qualifies you to be able to actually do this? Nobody cares. All they want is the outcome that you can get to them. Because at the end of the day, if you can help somebody again, fix their health relationships or wealth, nobody will care which college you went to or what degree you have. And in fact, till date, I've also interviewed hundreds and hundreds of people and I end up hiring people who can solve an actual problem, not impress me with their fancy degree. The other thing, a lot of people believe that, hey, you know, Rowan, in order to actually do this, I need to get 10 years of experience in IT or HR or some sort of specialization field. You know, the fact of the matter is that I did do a formal job, but that lasted around about six months. And that's the only formal job experience that I have. Until date, I have not, you know, sat down in like some sort of office trying to actually do uh, the whole nine to five thing. Uh, and I do not have that specialization or the years of five years, 10 years of experience that 
that most people talk about yet i end up making more money than most ivy league graduates most iit graduates and most of the ceos of large corporations out there and i was able to do that just at the age of 26 so the fact of the matter is that you don't need none of that to actually build this kind of business now there are different types of high ticket businesses that a lot of people talk about a lot of people have given these businesses various abbreviations just so that they could look cool and basically sell them their advanced specialized knowledge but the fact of the matter is all of these businesses are the same well some of the names that people give to these businesses are smma which stands for social media marketing agency there is this new thing called as ai double which stands for ai automation agency there are masterminds that people talk about, you know, learn how to start your own mastermind. We just kind of done for you, done with you offers and mentorships, etc. See, the fact of the matter is you could name this whatever you want. But the fact is, if you can solve a problem for your client, then you are basically running a high ticket business. Now think about this. Let's say that your clients are stuck in this island number one and in this island, they are very, very unhappy. And the reason they are unhappy is because they are not getting proper food. They're not getting proper shelter. They are not getting drinkable water, which is a lot. And they are not getting the social life and the luxury that they desire. And there lies island number two, where their life or their dream life really exists with the food, luxury, social life, everything that they truly desire. But in the way, there is a, lot, a huge ocean which is filled with a bunch of sharks trying to actually, you know, look for food. Now, this person cannot swim to that island and this is where you come into the picture and you build a boat that allows that individual to go from island number one to island number two. So by building that boat, you're trying to solve a problem for your ideal client, which allows them to basically achieve their desired life. And it does not matter whether you call it SMMA or a mastermind. The fact is you are solving problems. And that is the role of a high ticket consultant. And that is what you get paid money for. Now, there are a lot of examples of individuals who have done this successfully. In fact, some of the top people that you see online have made majority of their wealth through this kind of business. For example, look at Alex and Leila Hormozy, who started this company called as Gym Launch, which helped gym owners to get clients for their gyms and fill up their gyms. And for that, they used to charge premium upwards of $16,000 for their advice and services. We also have Iman Gadzi, who was able to run a successful SMMA where he used to land whale clients and in exchange for helping them out, he used to charge a premium amount. Then you also have Gary V. A lot of people think, oh, Gary V is just, you know, making a living through his social media and it's just a guy who rants a lot. But the fact of the matter is Gary V makes majority of his wealth by running this agency, which is called as Vayner Media, that works with some of the biggest corporations on planet Earth to help them solve their marketing problems. And as a result of that, he ends up charging premium amount to these individuals or these companies to make buttload of money. Then you also have Tony Robbins, who's a mindset coach, some, one of the biggest coach on earth, right? If you inquire about his mastermind and the kind of impact that he is able to bring with the help of his mastermind, he charges a lot of money for the same as well and also sells high ticket. Then you also have somebody like Kino Body, who is, who, whose name is actually Greg. You can find him on YouTube who helps people to achieve their dream physique and live the kind of life that they desire and by helping them lose weight, build muscles, etc. right? And in exchange of doing the same for his masterminds and personalized coaching, he charges a bomb, right? And as a result of this, these individuals are able to grow multi seven, eight, and some even nine figure businesses just by helping people solve their problems and charging high ticket for the same. So if that's not convincing enough, let's do a comparison analysis in terms of the various kind of opportunities available on the internet versus high ticket and which one you should pick right now. Well, the first opportunity that you might see or might have heard about is go become a trader, right? Because that is the next best thing. Unfortunately, if you really study history, right? And if you really study the individuals who have made a lot of money with the help of the stock market, there was a recent study done that really pointed out that the people that ended up making majority of the wealth from the stock market were individuals who passed. This means people who died. Why did that happen? Because these individuals put money into the stock market and by the time they actually passed away, 
uh, unfortunately they forgot to actually withdraw the fund as a result the money just kept being in the account and started compounding over time this means by not touching their money they ended up making most of their wealth so this means there is this is completely opposite from trading where people are sitting and like trying to actually make tiny little gains here and there but people who make majority of the wealth came from not touching it and actually focusing on a long term instrument the other thing is if you hear about people like Warren Buffet the best advice that these individuals give to most people is that you should if you have little money right or if you have let's say not like as much money as like millions or billions because if you do then why are you watching this video but if you do not have that then the best investment that you can make is investment in yourself yes this is the person who you know literally made most of his wealth by investing in the markets right is telling you to invest in yourself why because at the end of the day right let's say you do manage to become a really really good investor or trader and you manage to beat the odds and you are making let's say 12% to 15% per annum right now again that is considered to be very very good in 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 layman's terms right for any individual if you're like beating the market and you're making that much which may or may not happen but let's say that you are lucky enough to actually do that let's say you start off with a corpus of 1 lakh rupees right and you do end up making 12% increment within one year now you have 1 lakh 12000 rupees that is great you know uh, i mean what will you do with that 12000 rupees extra right it's it's not going to like change your life very much or you know allow you to actually achieve the kind of goals that you truly desire and if you think about this some people watching this video might argue but rohan if i put that money for 30 years right i will have so much money yeah but within 30 years you'll be old and you don't even know if tomorrow will be there or not considering covid and everything that's happening do you really want to live a life which is dependent upon some uh, uncertainties and the future possibility of one day it might happen i don't want to be old and enjoy my money i want to be able to enjoy my money while i'm young so that i can travel the world and live the kind of lifestyle that i desire and that cannot happen when i'll be old and sitting on a wheelchair so that i have to pass that money on to my grandchildren that's not something i truly desire right so that's why when it comes to comparison between trading slash investment probably starting a business i would always pick starting a business why because really you know i could do trading and investment which i do now once i have accumulated enormous wealth but majority of the people that you see in the top 10 billionaires list they actually you know became there because of starting a business and then they took their money and started putting in more investment opportunities so go build that wealth first and then think about trading now let's talk about another option that a lot of people have which is drop shipping now this is a big one right a lot of people are like uh, go to china or go to chinese websites right or other similar countries and then find products which are available for cheap and then go put a margin on it and then sell it at a premium price to other individuals think about this how long do you think this will last because if you think you are the only one who knows about aliexpress you are highly mistaken because eventually a lot of these other individuals will discover these websites and start buying directly from there and uh, yeah eventually you won't be uh, in the picture anymore and think about this let's say you go online and you discover this magical product because you watch some sort of youtube challenge explaining you that hey this is the best product you should sell and imagine how many people are also watching that video and how many other people also rip off that product so this means if you're let's say selling this coffee and somebody else also starts selling that coffee by sourcing from china or whatever right it's just an example right and do you think that you will have to eventually pay more money to acquire those customers absolutely because that is how supply demand works right when the demand like demand is limited but supply is so much because everyone's doing that then eventually the cost to advertise and get a customer on platforms like Facebook, TikTok or whatever will really, really increase. And as a result of this, you won't be left with a lot of margins to really build a business that you truly desire. Because if you remember the principles that I talked about, time freedom, location freedom and cash freedom, well, unfortunately, you won't have a lot of cash, which will allow you to do this successfully. Now, you might think, Rohan, I'll build my own product. I'll, I'll probably do my own stuff. Yeah, but that will also require a lot of heavy investment from your end and would require you to actually be in the warehouse, make sure that the product is being formulated the right way, etc, etc, which takes away from the point of location freedom. This means you are not able to travel anywhere that you desire. 
Then we also have affiliate marketing, right? Now, affiliate marketing is all right when you're starting out and you literally cannot figure out anything else. Might as well just get somebody else's wisdom or hard work and start selling it. But the fact of the matter is, do you know the toughest part that any business has to go through? The toughest part of any business is acquiring a customer. Now, if you come into the picture and you are doing all those efforts to help somebody acquire a customer, and in exchange of that, you're just taking a small percentage of the sale that too also when it grows is also not under your control because the company can change its policies anytime. Do you think you really want to build a business like that? And if you really think about so many experiences that have happened in the past where celebrities have endorse different kind of products or services by becoming an affiliate marketer and then that company fails due to unethical practices do you really want that kind of blame on your public image and then at the end of the day let's say you are on a deathbed right and you're thinking about your final days what do you want to recall that oh i was an affiliate marketer for that e-commerce store and i took a 10 percent percentage of it as opposed to really transforming people's lives really building impact really building a business that you can be proud of, creating your own products and services. You be the judge, because personally for me, I like the latter option and I like to die knowing that I have created an impact that I can really be happy about. The next thing is blogging and AdSense. Now, back in the days when I got started with my ventures, right, I did start this blog called as Buzzopedia, which used to target, you know, Indian college students. It used to get a lot of traffic, like a lakh views a day or 100,000 views, uh, not a day, sorry, 100,000 views it used to get every single month. But the problem is that despite getting so many views, the blog barely used to make $200 a month or something like that, which is not enough for me to make a living. And similarly, you know, by publishing videos like such, even though there is AdSense, the amount of money due to CPMs being like really, really low, I'm not going to end up making a lot of money. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers that do claim that they do make money but then the fact of the matter is you need to be really really popular like I'm talking about PewDiePie level popular to make a lot of money through AdSense and the fact is I don't have that much time or energy to wait that long okay so I might as well focus on something that allows me to take action now so then brings me the next option which is called as selling low ticket courses now I have done this mistake in the past but the fact of the matter is in today's time time that we are living in Gone are those days when people will sit through videos and, you know, consume all those courses, etc. Do you know that the average course completion rate is falling every single day? And do you also realize that most of the people that buy different kind of online courses do not succeed? In fact, how many? Less than 1% of them succeed. So if you want to sell a bunch of low ticket items to thousands and thousands of people and change their life just by 1% or would you rather just work with let's say 10 people and transform their lives by 100% because now you are charging them premium you can give them the time and energy that you truly desire and share the gift that you have with them so that you can transform their lives. You be the judge and you decide which option do you prefer. So after doing a comparison and trying out a lot of these businesses, I decided the one that I would like to stick to would be a high ticket business. And that is the one that I want to continue to focus on. And that is the exact business which allowed me to make multi seven figures in sales and also helped some of the top influencers on earth to make a lot of money. Now, here's the thing, unless you've been living under a rock, you must have heard of someone called as Alex Hormozy, who basically broke the internet by launching his viral sensation book, which is called as $100 million Offer, right? Now, in that book, Alex basically explains that how the most important thing that a business requires in order to actually scale is its fundamentals, which begins with an irresistible offer. This means that if you provide your marketplace an offer that they just cannot refuse, then they have a higher likelihood of actually purchasing from you, which honestly, it is correct. Absolutely. And I have enormous respect from Hormozy. Uh, and in fact, I have learned a lot from him and in fact, made several changes to my offer because of him. Unfortunately, what started happening 
post the release of his book while it did affect the industry in a positive way because you know a lot of people start caring more about their clients they start caring about improving their offer rather than you know just providing bs advice and services that used to happen back in the past unfortunately what started happening is people start going way too crazy with their guarantees and with what all they can actually offer and they start giving palpitations to a lot of service providers as well as uh, you know course creators as well as advice givers that you know how will i go about fulfilling all this and honestly in my opinion while hormozy was excellent at being able to cover the offer element i think in my opinion from my experience uh he did miss out a few elements that i want to cover and while i was actually trying to brainstorm what those elements are i decided to solve for that problem myself and that led to the discovery of something called as business model canvas right now a business model canvas is something that i was able to create by taking inspiration from the lean business model canvas that you might be familiar with so a business model canvas is basically a one page document that you can see in front of your screen that looks something like this now this bmc which is the abbreviation for this particular thing consists a few more variables other than offer now don't get me wrong offer is of course a core variable of this however in order for a business to become you know really successful it needs to actually make sure that the foundations of the business are set correctly this means a lot of business owners go out and you know try to scale their business without really even knowing the basic things like what are they passionate about because if you won't know what you are passionate about there's a pretty good chance you might end up giving up uh, your business in the future and that's what happens with a lot of agency owners and course creators then the next thing would be your niche who exactly do you wish to target who will be your ideal audience because if you end up creating an irresistible offer without really knowing your ideal avatar you might end up getting some really bad people into your organization and as a result it will become a fulfillment nightmare and trust me i know that from experience now the next thing that you have to do is you have to really be good at understanding the problem of your ideal avatar which is your niche because if you don't know what painful problem you are going to solve for them you might not be able to charge premium for the same then the next thing would be uvp or unique value proposition this means how exactly do you plan to differentiate your offer or your business from rest of the uh, you know competitors out there and then comes mvp which stands for minimum viable product or minimum viable offer that hormozy talks about this is of course very important then comes the marketing message this means rather than you just saying a boring old message like i'm a smma owner or i'm a ai aa owner right or i'm i i'm a course creator i'm a law or, you know law of attraction coach or i'm a health coach right a marketing message basically turns what you have to offer into something much more attractive and appealing to your ideal audience audience and then comes the price this means how much do you plan to charge for the whole service or the package that you are going to offer to your clients how do you propose on delivering that solution to the client whether it would be done for you done with you or they will do it themselves and what channels will you be marketing on in order to attract your ideal customers right now the fact of the matter is that a lot of people take years and years to actually figure out all these details however my goal is that within just one video which is this one that you're watching i'm going to help you find out all the variables of this particular business model canvas right so just to recap what i just talked about business model canvas is a one page document that will store all your variables for uh, us neatly and this video consists of many tools worksheets and documents right since it will be difficult to have each one of you know like all of these variables handy like imagine trying to like create a different document for all of this we basically use the canvas to store all of this information right and i've already talked about what this canvas consists of passion means what market are you passionate about helping whether it's wealth health or relationships niche would be who exactly do you plan to target problem statement would be what problem are you planning to solve for this particular target market value proposition or usp or uvp would be how will you be different from rest of the competition and then mvp would be what would be the solution to what you have to offer right or what's your offer like and marketing messages how do you go about explaining to the market what exactly you do without really sounding boring right and price would be how much do you charge channels would be what channels do you plan on marketing yourself delivery would be how do you plan on delivering this solution and all this 
is something that you have to actually you know add to the bmc now what you can do is you can actually go to this document click on this link and you'll be able to download this bmc just make sure to give it a name make sure to give it a date and this will be iteration number one now what exactly do i mean by iteration number one well the fact of the matter is that this bmc while it might you know you might think that oh i'll just complete it right now and it'd be super perfect the fact of the matter is that it won't because your BMC or your business model canvas is supposed to evolve over time. This means it's not supposed to be stagnant. Why does that happen? Because over time, your maturity about your market would basically increase. This means you would go about talking to your market more. You would go about researching about your market more. Your experience, your wisdom will increase. This means when your wisdom and experience increases, your business model canvas changes. In fact, till date, I'm learning something new about my market almost every single month. And this allows me to actually iterate upon my business model canvas, which allows me to stay ahead of my competitors in this cutting throat world, right? So this is something that you must also understand and have your expectations right. While we will complete this business model canvas, just remember that over time, this needs to evolve, right? Because if you are able to complete this business model canvas, you would be able to do something that a lot of business owners take probably five, 10 years to actually figure out. And that you know, on its own is an accomplishment to be very honest, right? And later on in the future, if you plan on selling your business and your investors actually see that you are so well prepared, like you'll be so, you know, so much better off than other people combined in terms of raising money or selling your company. Or let's say, you know, you just want to actually go and sign your ideal client. This business model canvas will give you so much awareness because of which your client will be super impressed. Like, oh my God, you, this guy really knows about my problems. This guy has a targeted market, market right? Uh, already defined. He rejects other people and only works with people like myself. And I'm very appealed towards working with this individual, right? This person is actually different and has done that research in terms of why they are a compelling solution that I should work with. They have an offer that I literally cannot refuse. Their marketing message is very differentiated and looks pretty awesome and solid as compared to other people out there. Their pricing is also a premium and which means that you know, they might be offering something prestigious because, you know, think about this when the price is usually high, the prestige value of their item also goes high, right? And then delivery, you know, they have their delivery systems defined and they are very well organized and they know exactly where to find their target audience, right? So this gives you an edge over everyone else. And trust me, if you complete this today itself, you will be in so much like you'll be light years ahead of everyone else, right? Now, back in the days, you had to like sit down and research all these variables all by yourself. But now we have, you know, access to AI. And that's why I want to introduce you something that honestly, I have never introduced till date to anyone. And I want to introduce you to something called as BMC Creator, right? So Business Model Creator, which is a specialized business model bot for coaches and marketing agencies that will allow you to actually figure out your entire business model canvas just by giving some basic prompts, right? So if you're excited to learn more about this, let's just get straight into it. By the way, if you watch this video till the end, I'll give you access to this document as well as this bot so that you can go ahead and complete your business model today itself and get started with this business. So now let's just get straight into creating our business models and then actually creating our businesses live by making sure that we can set up a website online. So the businesses that I will help you create right now would be a fitness coaching business and a social media marketing agency, right? And what we will be using is our business model canvas, chat GPT, and some basic website building tools in order to put everything uh, that we have thought about into existence. All right. So just a quick recap in case you have forgotten already. Uh, as part of the business model canvas, right? So see, I, right now, if I was to just go and create a website, it might just turn out to be very, very generic, but the business model canvas will help us create everything which will turn out to be rock solid. And it will also help us basically uh, not just attract leads to our website, but also convert them in the future. And this business model will be something that will help you in the long term. So pay attention. The first element of the business model is the passion, right? As you already know. So as part of the passion, which is available over here in the business model canvas, see the main thing is if you end up starting a business or any kind of business, whether it's high ticket or anything you do, and you're not passionate about the cause. And the only reason why you're doing this is for money. Then what will happen is when things get tough, 
you will feel like giving up and you just won't be motivated to move forward unless and until you have something to look forward to every single day. And what you do doesn't seem like work is only when you'll be motivated to actually continue doing it. For instance, right now, me recording this video, which is pretty detailed and took a lot of time, right? I would have probably given up on this if I was not passionate about helping you out, right? And sharing my knowledge with the world. So make sure whatever you pick, right? Uh, whether uh, I, I would highly recommend that you pick either the wealth market, which means if you want to enter the make money online opportunity, or you want to help businesses to acquire more clients or leads, then pick the wealth market. If you want to go after the health market, this means you want to help people lose weight. Uh, you want to help people get in shape. You want to help people get rid of various kinds of problems like their gut health issues, their, their obesity issues, their, you know, different kinds of diseases like diabetes that are out there. Then of course you can pick health. There's also mindset. So, you know, mental health has become very, very important in today's time. Uh, people who do not take care of the same tend to suffer from various kinds of problems like depression, which leads to further uh, consequences like suicide as well. And the suicide rate is increasing significantly, right? So uh, the need for mindset coaching is out there. So if you are passionate about helping people with various kinds of mindset problems, then definitely go after this one. And then uh, the next one would be relationships. So this means that there are a lot of couples out there who might be dissatisfied with their uh, you know, current marriage or their relationship. And, you know, chances are that if you come into the picture, you could save them from a future divorce, which could be, of course, very beneficial for them. And, you know, there might be children out there who might not have good relationships with their parents. There might be parents out there who might not have good relationship with their children or even siblings or various kind of things, right? So the point is that if you like helping people or advising people about relationships, then this is definitely something that you must consider. The next thing is in terms of pricing, right? My advice to everyone is that you should charge premium, right? So you should charge, uh, if you are in the US, right? You should charge between $3,500 to, you know, up, even upwards of like $50,000 for masterminds. And uh, if you are in India, I would at least recommend you starting off with 35,000 rupees and, you know, you can even charge up to 16 lakh rupees for your valuable advice and services. So. This is what I would highly recommend to uh, anyone who is watching this video. Now, the reason for this, you know, a lot of people might wonder, Rohan, why so much? Why can't I just get started with a cheaper price? Because the fact of the matter is, you, you know, if you're going to like, unless you're a beginner, right? My recommendation is always charge premium. And when you charge premium, the prestige value of what you have to offer to people really, really goes up. Think about this, right? When you are out in the marketplace and you see a Rolls Royce, uh, you know, just in the streets and it's just available for like $5,000, right? Like a, you know, super expensive multi six figure car uh, is available for almost nothing, right? It, you would not believe it and you would start to think that there's something wrong or something faulty with it. And it just won't make sense, right? So the reason is because Rolls Royce have created that brand for themselves and that image allows them to acquire some of the best customers on planet Earth and end up having the maximum profit margins, which is the second benefit of charging high ticket. You know, you will be able to actually have, uh, you know, higher profit margins than a lot of your competitors who are still charging low ticket and are continuously forcing their customers to uh, buy their upsells so that they could increase their lifetime value. You would not have to do that. The third thing uh, that I honestly believe uh, charging high ticket would be that you would be able to make much more impact because if you're not charging enough, you won't be able to provide that necessary attention to individuals out there. And if you cannot provide them the necessary attention, what will happen is you will not be able to do justice to their transformation. This means, let's say if somebody pays you like, you know, this amount that I have mentioned on my screen, uh, you know, you would actually put in a lot of efforts. You would actually go all in in order to give them the transformation. But on the other hand, if they have just paid you like $10, $50, $100 or, you know, $500 even, right? Even though you can help them, but you won't be able to give them the necessary attention because of course you have to feed yourself. You have to feed your family. And if you have a business then you have to pay the bills. So charging high ticket is one of the best things that you can do out there. And the last benefit that I would like to tell you is that you just end up needing a lot less customers in order to achieve your income goals. Because if your goal is to make $10,000 a month, you just need three clients to do that. 
and uh, you know it, on the other hand if you're just selling like hundred dollar widgets it's going to take you way too long and i just don't recommend that now that's the pricing thing right so this is the the, the price variable of the business model canvas that you can see over here now the next variable that comes into place is niche which basically means who are you targeting now according to me niche selection is important why because think about this right let's say you end up you know starting a digital marketing agency now if you go to google and type digital marketers near me you will end up seeing that there are thousands and thousands of people competing for the same thing in fact let me show you that and as you can see the search results it's literally a lot right so it becomes really really difficult to charge high ticket when we are out against all these players out there who have been in the marketplace for years and uh, probably even decades right so the best way to compete against those individuals is to develop our own unique value proposition and the way to do that is think about this right let's say you go to uh, you know a digital marketing agency that does services for literally everyone and uh, you are a dentist and you're like thinking whether you should take their services or not on the other hand, if you go to another digital marketing agency that just says, hey, attention dentists, I'm just going to help you get implant patients. I've worked with, you know, 15 other dentists like yourself and look at the results that I've gotten them. And if this doesn't work, you don't pay. The likelihood of the dentist picking the second option is a lot higher because you are more targeted and you are only working with that exclusive niche. Now, another reason to actually, you know, select a specific group of individuals to work with because what you will end up realizing is, uh, you know, uh, uh, that after working with 1600 plus clients, you would realize that 80% of your clients do not add any additional income to your business, whereas 20% of the clients actually end up making up for the majority of the lifetime value. And as a result of this, if you want to really grow your business and increase your profits, then won't you think that the best option is to just focus on the 20% of the people that are making up for majority of your value? And this is the exact same principle that even Zomato applied or Zomato uh, applied to their business where they basically focused and, uh, and they, they did a lot of R&D and they ended up finding out that people who were paying Zomato the most were the gold users and they were having the highest uh, you know transaction volume and also the uh, the the cart value of whatever they used to place an order for used to be a lot higher than majority of the other zomato users so as a result of this you know uh, they decided to focus exclusively on that segment decide to give them more incentives if i decide to actually increase that database uh, base of gold users and in fact if you you would realize that zomato recently posted a profit as well and the major chunk of that profit actually came uh, because of these gold users right so this is a great uh, you know thing that i would recommend that if you want to charge high ticket you must work with a targeted niche right so for me personally, I initially began by working with exclusively e-commerce store owners. And then later on, I realized that, hey, you know, I also have the tendency to help high ticket coaches. And that's when I when I was running my own DFI agency that did $10,000 a month when I was just 20 years old, uh, just from my college dorm room, I was able to actually expand into this other segment, which really allowed me to scale. So keep in mind that your niche will evolve over time. And if you think about what I do now, I've even removed this segment and just work with this, right? So your niche will evolve over time and uh, you must take that into consideration and be totally fine with it. The goal is to not overstress about this and just pick something and get started with it as soon as possible. Now comes the problem statement, right? Now the biggest thing or the, you know, once I heard Sam Owen say that uh, if, if colleges could just teach in their in their classroom uh, on on uh, of part of their business 101 lectures that hey the goal of a business is just to solve problems then colleges would end up creating a lot of different uh, you know various kind of entrepreneurs out there right so the point that i'm trying to say is that the goal of a business is to solve problems and a lot of people end up focusing on various kind of things which do not even matter and what you must understand is that once you have selected a niche right you must go about figuring out what exactly their problem is. And you can do that by basically serving them. You could go to chat GPT, you could, you know, go to uh, different kind of events. You could basically talk to those people or use Google as well. 
in order to get information about what kind of challenges and problems your market faces. So when I was doing this agency stuff, I realized that the challenge of my market was e-commerce store owners and coaches are tired of getting low quality leads and low ROI, such breaking even, taking losses on ads, etc. They need a pro, a, a pro to deliver a spine chilling ROI and they wish to achieve godlike omnipresence and dominate uh, competition. I also realized that they were tired of getting their um, ad accounts banned on social media. All right, so that was another problem that they were facing. So this is what I ended up realizing, right? And you must do the same and just write that down. And don't worry, soon I'll be showing you how you can use ChatGPT to actually come up with all this as well. Now comes the next part, which is value proposition, which means how exactly do you plan on being different from the rest of the crowd out there, right? Now for me, I like to divide value proposition into three different categories. The first one is performance benefits. The second one is must-haves. And then third one is delighters. Now, performance benefits is pretty simple, right? Imagine as if you're buying a car, right? Now, if you're trying to buy a car, uh, the, the one thing that you could actually, uh, uh, you know, focus on would be, let's say, the mileage, right? Uh, how, how efficient it is. Or the other thing that you could focus on is the speed, right? So let's say if you're trying to shop for a sports car, probably you don't care about the mileage, right? Because the, the sports car just sucks so much petrol right and it's just very difficult to compare that but on the other hand what it gives you is that feeling of luxury as well as uh, the speed that you're looking for so yeah so similarly when you're trying to build a car for yourself and if you're trying to like think about the performance benefits and if you're a car company uh, if you you have to decide whether you want the performance benefit to be about efficiency you want it to be about speed or what is that thing that you care about right and then the next thing would be, uh, you know, must have. So what are all the things that are that all your competitors out there are offering that you must include in your service or product as well? So, for example, if you're a car manufacturing company and you're thinking to build a car, one thing that you must include would be, let's say, seat belts, because that has become very, very important. Uh, I mean, every car comes with that, right? You'll, you'll find it pretty odd that it doesn't and you won't buy that car, right? Or you'll at least ask it to get installed. And then the third thing would be delighter, right? So what, what exactly are the things that you can offer as a car company which might delight your clients or customers? Now one feature could be, let's say, the Apple CarPlay feature, which may not be included in all the cars out there, but you know it's a good delighter to have. So to similarly, I want you to think about what kind of value proposition can you add to your marketplace? So in my case, when I had the agency, I basically decided to go with the following must have. So this was a dedicated account manager, one-on-one -on -one onboarding call, one-to-one -one support, WhatsApp slash Voxer slash Slack slash Telegram support, and maybe a DFI department to help them out. In terms of performance benefit, the, the fast benefit was that they can get results in 90 days. And guarantee was if no results, they can take the money back and cheaper would be compared to the ROI that our clients would make. The lighters would be two group coaching calls per week, maybe a school community or a group and shorter course material that was part of my agency to navigate, uh, to help the clients navigate through various kinds of problems that they might face on a day to day basis. Right. So similarly, you can also divide your must have performance benefits and delighters. And again, shortly, I'll be showing you how to, you know, create the same using chat GPT. Now comes MVP, right? So this was the MVP that I decided to go with. Now MVP stands for minimum viable product, right? And again, if you don't offer a product, this can be applied to you as minimum viable service, right? So what solution would you offer to your clients, right? Now, so far, what you have understood is, okay, Rohan, this is my niche, right? This is the problem that I'm solving for them. And this is the USP that I have, but how do I go about like, understanding what exactly should I offer. So the best way you can imagine this is think about this. Uh, so I want you to imagine as if there's this island where your clients are currently stuck on. And in this island, there is basically lack of food, proper shelter, proper you know, social life, and the habitat that basically your client desires, right? So this is the problem of your niche, right? And this is exactly what we have designed right over here. Now comes island number two, 
where the client wants to go. This is where their social life is. This is where everything that they desire is present, right? Proper food, proper shelter, proper social life, etc. right? And this is the land where there is absence of problem. But, you know, over here, there's like, there are sharks and you have to build this boat that will help them go from island number one to island number two. And the tools to build this boat that you have access to are the must-haves, the performance benefits, and the delighters, right? So how do you go about creating this boat, which will take them from step one to step number five and eventually island number two, right? By taking into account our must-haves, performance benefits, and delighter. So what we can do is, and what I did is came up with a MVP, which was like a step-by-step -step solution like this. Fr uh, and I called it front-end 90-day accelerator. This was the foundation steps where I would like retrieve their assets. Step two, I would build their landing pages. Step three, I would launch their ads. Again, you can pause this video and watch this or stay till the end to get the document for free. And step four would be testing and reporting. And then step five, optimizing ads. And step six, scaling ads, right? So this was the uh, solution that I built for them that, were, uh, that I would basically pitch to them, right? And then came the backend membership or recurring membership solution. So, you know, just to increase the uh, lifetime value of my clients, I also created a backend solution, which is kind of similar to how a lot of coaches and consultants do, but you can definitely consider adding a mastermind as part of your agency to make things more sticky uh, and, and make sure that the clients do not leave, right? So the best way to think about your, you know, recurring membership solution would be what's the next best problem you can solve for the client? Where do they need the most help? How can you make it so that the clients cannot live without what you do? How can you make it so that they depend on the service to run their business? And if, you, if your offer went away, would they be in serious trouble? Just to give you an example, Slack is one software that my company uses on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm pretty sure that if Slack goes away, it'll be very difficult for us to survive, right? So the best is like, you know, some sort of sticky done for you service with a, you know, backend mastermind slash community type offer would really help you create something uh, recurring, right? So this is what I would recommend. Maybe like some regular, let's say if you're offering Facebook ad services on the front end, and then over here, that could be like email marketing service as well. And then along with some mastermind service, right? So this is something that you can consider doing. Then comes the marketing message, right? So how do you explain what you do? Now, a lot of people end up going with the boring way of explaining what exactly that they have to offer to their clients, right? Like they would go about saying, hey, I don't know, SMMA or I'm a fitness coach. And that's pretty boring. And let me show you a new way of doing this. So just to recap, we have covered passion. We have covered problem. We have actually covered the niche section. We have covered unique value proposition. We have covered minimum viable product. We have covered, uh, now what we are covering is the marketing message, right? So again, rather than explaining your marketing message in a boring old format, the best way that I like to do is by saying something like, we help coaches and marketing agencies scale through paid traffic and sales funnel, um, you know, and then something like this or something like we help, let's say, dentists get 30 to 40 implant patients every year if our funnel doesn't perform you don't pay right so something like that and this allows us to really be different from the marketplace rather than just saying that we are a generic agency right now the next thing that comes into place would be the channel so this means uh, you know what channels should we market ourselves on again there'll be a video coming up part of this video series where i will literally show you how to market yourself and get consistent leads right so stay tuned for that as well and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this so that being said you know what i can consider doing is in terms of the channels I basically questioned where exactly does my niche hang out? So since it was more of a B2B, I decided to go with the cold approach or the cold email approach and along with Facebook ads with video sales letter. Now again, if you don't know this, I'll show you how to create this later on. Do not worry. So now we have covered channel, right? Now comes the delivery section. Like this means how exactly do we propose on delivering our solution? Okay. So for front end, I recommend doing like a done for you service. This is what I did for, for this particular business model canvas. And for back end, I did like a done with you service along with a mastermind, right? So this is what worked out. 
So that being said, now that you understand how a business model canvas actually looks like, how let's go about creating two of these canvases and then also creating our website to put these canvases into reality. So we'll create one for SMMA and we'll create one for fitness coaching business. So let's use chat GPT to do that. So let's first create the business model canvas for a social media marketing agency. Again, you know, this is uh, something that we've already talking about. So let's do that. If you don't want to worry about this then you can skip this part and then go to the fitness coaching part. If you run a coaching business, the point is it'll be pretty similar and the process is, you know, pretty straightforward. So let's go about doing the same, right? So let's give ChatGPT some prompt. Now the tool that I'll be using is a business model creator. This is a specialized bot that we have built here at Uability. If you want to access this, just click on this link. Uh, if you want to access this, is if you want to access this, just click on this link, and you'll be able to actually, you know, start using this bot as well. And this is my free gift to you. Enjoy. So I basically wrote a prompt which says, help me create a business model canvas for my Facebook ads marketing agency based in New York. I'm targeting dentists looking for consistent implant patients. And let's see if the business model creator can actually give us what we are looking for. And I think this is pretty brilliant, right? As you can see, with just one command, I was able to get all this information, you know, just, it's, it's just it's fabulous, right? So I could take all this information and I could literally fill my business model canvas and literally a lot of businesses take like five years or something to understand this information, but we can actually do this at, um, you know, a lot, a lot faster, right? Now, one thing that I would like to do is I would like to elaborate upon the MVP because as you can see, mine one over here is pretty detailed. So let's ask this. Can you elaborate upon the MVP and make it more step by step? Also give my MVP a unique name. So this is the prompt that I've given. Now let's say that I want to learn what should I offer to these people and how should I go about doing it? Well, it will tell me like the first thing I should do is like an initial consultation call. Then, you know, I should do like a market analysis. Then I should build like custom strategy, ad creation and targeting. I should launch the campaign, ongoing optimization, performance reporting, strategy review. Like you can see, like this is the one that I had to figure out, you know, by myself to create. And this is how like ChatGPT is like giving me with a unique name for each one of these steps. And the best part is that it also named my MVP something great, which is called as Denta Leads Pro, right? So this is like pretty sick in my opinion, right? Now, a lot of you might be thinking, oh no, Rohan, this, this is like so annoying because you over here wrote down dentist. How do you know this is the perfect niche for you? I don't even know what my niche should be. I could see some of you complaining, right? So I also like, so earlier in the day, I basically like gave ChatGPT this prompt to help me come up with like some of the best niches out there. So as you can see, these are some of the worst niches that it came up with, by the way, there's a video on my YouTube channel that literally explains how I went about selecting a niche. You can go ahead and check that out. But for now, I'll just cut to the chase, right? These were some of the worst niches that I came up with. And you can pause this video to read the reasons why. These were some of the average niches. These are some good niches. And these were the best niches, right? And the top five were these ones, right? So if I desire, I could easily tell chat GPT, like I could just go over here and rather than saying, help me create, you know, business model canvas for marketing agency based in New York, I'm targeting dentists, just replace that with the, uh, you know, luxury real estate, um, you know, and, and I, I mean, it'll be a lot better for you and it, 
and re replace that with luxury real estate and it will just allow you to actually create um you know let's say looking to sell commercial properties let's see what it comes up with and as you can see I mean, this is pretty brilliant, man. So it, it, it can like tell you that. And now let's just say, can you elaborate upon the MVP? Give it a unique name. And let's see if it can come up with our awesome MVP. As you can see, it came up with a great uh, MVP name, right? And along with like step-by-step -step in, uh, instructions regarding how I can get results for my clients. If you're not satisfied with this, you can click this button and it'll you know, give you a different kind of response, right? And again, if you want this list of niches, right? Click here and you'll be able to actually download this list as well, uh, all available for you, right? So now we have done this part uh, successfully, right? And uh, I've explained to you about the business model canvas as well. Now let's go about creating one for the fitness coaching uh, business as well, so that you know anyone else who is not running an SMMA can also create a business model canvas, right? So let's just say, help me create a business model canvas uh, for working females looking to for wait for a fitness coaching business targeting working females looking to lose weight in and suffering from PCOS issues so let's say you know we could come up with something like this and again if you're a relationship coach, you can replace that and then you know just give more information about your target audience. See, the more details you provide to this board, the better response it will be able to get to you. Again, this is AI, this is not God, right? So you have to be specific with your instructions. And again, there are like a lot of um, you know free instructions uh, and conversation startup prompts that are already provided to you that you can take inspiration from. So let's get uh, click on you know send message and let's see what kind of business model it is able to create for us. And this is pretty awesome. Wow. Like this is pretty awesome, right? Now, again, if you want to elaborate upon anything, like uh, you could say something like, can you make the niche, can you make the niche more specific and elaborate upon the MVP? Let's say I want to do that, right? And it is making the niche a lot more specific. So that's a pretty good sign. And uh, it will elaborate upon the MVP as well, which you can see pretty cool. 
Wow. So this is how you can create a business model within a few seconds, right? So let's mark this as green as well. So now you learn that how with chat GPT, basically I was able to create my entire business model canvas, right? So as you can see, let's say that this is an example for a healthcare industry. So what I can do is I could go back to my business model canvas, click on make a copy, uh, just name myself, whatever. And then what I can start doing is I could just start taking these variables. Like as you can see this one copy and then paste it over here, right? Of course, feel free to adjust the font, right? However, way you like, and then I could do the same with problem. And basically my goal is to complete this entire business model canvas, right? And, uh, let's say that I am stuck, you know, let's say I just gave this one prompt and I wanted chat GPT to elaborate upon a certain point. For example, for this particular service, I was like, can you elaborate upon the MVP? Because I really need help coming up with the perfect kind of offering. And as you can see, it gave me like a step-by-step -step solution uh, for the same. And then I could also ask it, can you also give me a name for my MVP, right? And uh, this should hopefully work and give me a name. Denta gain implant accelerator. Pretty awesome, right? So what I can do is then I could copy this and then under the MVP section, I could just like paste that over here. And the goal is that you just complete the entire business model canvas. And when the entire business model canvas will be done, it might look something like this. Now it's a little bit broken, but as you can see, this is one of our clients actually being able to do that successfully. And this is like a step-by-step -step summary and you should have everything in one basic document all ready to go. Something that you can be proud of, something that you're actually willing to proceed with. And then this is an example of one of our clients, Bhupendra Pal Singh, who was able to actually complete this business model canvas, put everything in just like a one page document and he had everything good to go. And just by completing this business model canvas, as you can see, when hundred, this guy was able to get hundred high ticket clients within a period of literally three to six months of actually working with us and completing this business model canvas. And as you can see, this is his post. So that being said, now that we have such an important variable of your business completed, which is like this business model canvas, right? Let's try to put that into picture. And what we have to do is let's try to come up with, you know, let's take this business model canvas and put it somewhere so that we can physically see it. And what's the best place to actually put it online? Well, it can be by creating a website that will, that you and your clients will be able to see whenever you want and see this entire one page document on a live, beautiful format that explains exactly who you are, what do you do and how can you help your target audience, right? Now let's get to the next part, which is website and setup, right? Now, in order to create a website, the first thing that we have to do is we need to come up with a name, right? So let's pick the SMMA example and create a website live for the same. So let's begin with the first step, which is naming or company. So since we are using this SMMA example, I created this business model canvas earlier in front of you uh, for this dentist marketing agency, right? So let's give this a prompt and say something like, help me create a unique name for my marketing agency. So while that, you know, pops out, just want to let you know that you can also name your agency, basically your name, like just merge your first name and last name. Cause when I got started, I literally just called my agency rohandavan.com, right? And as you can see over here, we do have quite a lot of names given over here and you can just pick one out of all these options. And I could just say, help me pick the most creative one. Right. So while that comes out, what I can also do is I could go to namecheap.com. That is when, where you would need to actually purchase your domain. Now, again, if you don't want to use namecheap, you can literally use any other source that you desire. Um, for my own convenience, I just use namecheap, right? So if you don't know what a domain name is, it's simply like 
you know, like facebook.com, that's a domain, right? So yeah, now it says smile boost ads. So let's uh, try this one out. Smile boost ads. This is name cheap, by the way. So I'll just type smile boost ads. <laughs> All right, and let's see what comes up. And thankfully, this domain name is actually available. So I could just click on add to cart. And what I would be able to do is I could go to view cart and then just simply purchase this domain, right? I'm not going to walk you through how to put your payment information over here, right? There are plenty of videos out there on the internet that can show you that. So I'm just going to get straight to the chase, right? So the next step is basically uh, creating a logo, right? So for that, let's try using ChatGPT again. By the way, to use all these functionalities, you need ChatGPT Pro, uh, the, the premium one, and ChatGPT 4, right? So help me create a stunning and creative logo for my marketing agency called oh, what was it called smile boost that's right and let's see what it comes up with in the meantime while it's creating the logo you can also consider using canva.com which is another website so you can also consider using canva.com, which is another website. So you can just go over here and type logo, click on see all, and you know, it can like come up with a lot of different kind of logos out there that you can consider. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, perfect. Oh, unfortunately, we need to upgrade to use this. Well, you can consider upgrading, but I'm going to be too cheap right now and see what ChatGPT got us. Dope. Pretty awesome, right? And this is pretty good. And uh, we can also like if, if you don't like it, by the way, you can just like click the refresh button and it'll get you a new one. Moving back to Canva, um, I guess we don't have a lot of choice when it comes to, you know, probably like the logos when it comes to the free versions. And I want to keep this tutorial as like, how do you put it? like beginner friendly, which doesn't require a lot of investment types. So oh, that's an image. What was it even called? Smile boost ads. lol so <laughs> that was the logo that i was able to come up with in a few seconds uh would i think this is the best logo on planet or definitely not however it worked right 
And till the time, let's see what chat GPT got us. Okay, it did a way better job than my skills, right? So I think I'm gonna go with this, um, this logo, right? And can you make it rectangle? I'm just gonna ask it to like, make it like rectangular, right? So that's how you go about creating a logo, right? And you can play around with this as much as you like. Now let's get into the next task, which is to create a website because of course we can't send people, you know, to nowhere's land, right? If we have an online company, then we must have an online presence. And the best way to do that is through a website. And the software that I like to use is personally called as Cinemit, right? Uh, developed by my good friend uh, and client, Joshua. So you can click this link and you'll be able to access the same, right? Now, um, Cinemit looks something like this, right? As you can see. So Cinemit is a multi-functional tool, right? It allows you to manage your conversations, your calendar, contact, pipelines, payment, marketing, automation, membership sites, and a lot more things, right? and even automations like email campaigns and whatnot. But I'm not going to get into all of those things because my goal is to keep this simple. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we just need to create a website, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this template, which is called as giveaway website. And this is under the resources tab. And if you want this funnel for yourself, or this entire website, you can just click on this link and you'll be able to get it. Another gift from my side. Now, if I click on edit for this particular thing and preview this website, it's a pretty straightforward website that looks like this. And when you click on this link, it'll take you to uh, Calendly, right? Which will be like a scheduling software, which will allow people to book a call with us, right? So this is the, uh, this website is kind of like a replica of what I used back in the days to get started. You do not need to be like super fancy with your website. The reason being, uh, you know, at the start, a lot of people spend so much time to, you know, worry about all this stuff, but it doesn't matter right now. Okay. Keep it simple. And that's, what's going to give you the best success. So. Of course, you can't go ahead and use my name and get started with that, right? So we'll click on edit page uh, under the home page and begin editing this website. So what I would like to do is let's begin by making some changes to the logo, right? So let's go ahead, download this. And over here, upload, upload file. And we got this logo, but I'm not too happy with the size. So let's try making it 300, no, no, the height 300, 100. So I decided to go with Canva because chat GPT kind of like backfired on me and it gave me like an error when I wanted a logo without the background. And honestly, uh, the one I was trying to upload this one, I'm not 
really liking it a lot, right? So let's go with uh, this uh, logo that we have created with uh, Canva and pretty straightforward logo, right? And we're just gonna like take this, but we just like crop it a little. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to upload the file. And then just select that. And then I think let's just change the background color to white. Oh, I like this. All right. So this is how it looks, right? And then this is what we can do. And I do not like the photo over here because it just doesn't make any sense. So let's try putting it here and see what happens. Mm -hmm. That looks all right. Oh, there's still some black color over here. So I'll just like make that white. Now, what I need to do is I need to change this marketing message over here because honestly, this is not resonating, right? So what I can do is Help me create a short marketing message for my marketing agency targeting dentists to get implant patient Facebook ads. All right, let's go with something like this. And this looks pretty dope. Now over here, you can of course like edit the description about the founder and stuff, right? And then you can change the contact 
uh, us information. If you truly desire, right, you could also like create like a duplicate version of this. Probably, you know, could put that over here at the bottom. What do we do? And then basically what we can do is we can take our chat GPT's uh, MVP. And we could like put, put this over here as well, where we could just like give it like
So as you can see, I decided to go a little bit deep <laughs> into this and uh, ended up creating something um, that looks all right, actually. Let's um, let's actually preview this website on uh, one of these things. Yeah, let's click on preview. And yeah, looks pretty simple and awesome to me. Again, if you really want to go crazy, you can like go add more images and whatnot if you really have them and if you can be bothered. If not, uh, you know, I think like this is fine as well. So I think like what I'm not liking is like probably what I would do is shift this contact one in place of this one because um, it's not looking really awesome in my opinion. Cool. So now the next thing is I want to add like Calendly to it so that people can go to my website and book a call with me. So to do that, what I would do is I would head over to Calendly.com. And again, you have to create an account on Calendly. Uh, this is the website. It's basic, simple setup. I'm not going to walk you through that because I'm assuming you can do that. I'm just going to create like a calendar. Let's just call it event type and it'll be one on one. Strategy session. Smile. Boost ad strategy session. Let's make that 30 minutes. We could probably make it 60. We could have selected zoom call. Uh, like so and then if you want you can go to edit and then also connect this with zoom but i'm gonna like skip that um Let's, because uh, I can't be bothered writing the description either, right? So let's just see what this thing gives us. All right, let's go with this. And then click on next. Cool. Now let's look at scheduling times. So again, you can select the times when you're available. Uh, let's just like, let's say remove Friday if you want. You can also select like, you know, what date you want to be available. Honestly, the setting that I like is on Monday. Let's just get rid of this, get rid of this. I like to schedule no more in like four days in advance. So let's say today is third. Probably I'll have this, 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 this open. Just like five dates. Close. Save. Now you can set buffer times and all that stuff if you really want. I don't really care. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Now I'm going to copy the link and go back to my website. And wherever it says apply now, I'm going to like change the URL. I'm also going to add like this 
something like that. Um, What am I doing? All right, perfecto. So, save it all. What am I even saying? Cool. So now let's click on preview. And boom, we have our Fancy website. Oh, I, I do not like this. Probably like that should be enough spaces. And then also, by the way, you can also preview it on mobile. Reload. Okay, this is not going away. Maybe when I'll be bothered, I'll, I'll think about fixing it. Okay. For now, I'll just like remove it. And when we go over here, we can click apply now. And it'll take people to our calendar where people can, you know, select time to talk to us. One quick thing that I forgot to tell you is what you can also do is you can ask people some questions if you really like. So like maybe you can ask them I click on edit you know what I'm about to do please help me come up with top five qualification questions to ask dentists applying to work my marketing agency. Cool. Let's just go with these. Actually, you know what? Nobody will read so much. And then you can redirect people to an Excel website or just display the Calendly thing. I won't get too much into the depth of that. But for now, let's see the changes, right? So we now let's click on apply now. Try to schedule a call and boom, now we have questions. Pretty fancy. 
All right. So that's how you go about, you know, creating the website. And now you can literally do this for literally any business that you desire, any high ticket business, as long as you follow the concept in this order. Now let's talk about the roadmap to hundred thousand dollars a year with your business. So that being said, we are almost at the end of this valuable series. And if you have been watching so far, like I want to thank you so much because you have truly shown patience, something that a lot of people just struggle to actually showcase, right? So let's talk about the roadmap to $100,000 per year with this kind of business and how you can actually make this money. See, the fact is when you execute this process correctly, you should be able to get three to four clients per month, especially when you're charging premium for them. And at $2,000 a month, that's like $6,000 to $8,000 in monthly recurring revenue. And over the course of one year, that's $72,000 to $96,000 a year, just from three to four new consulting clients, right? And when you set up and run your high ticket business the right way, it's effortless to literally attract three to four new clients and produce $100,000 a year, something which I'll be showing you very soon. And to make $100,000 a year in a job takes qualifications, decades of work experience, and you working like literally a slave. And even though most people never get close to 100K, when you start start a business like such hundred thousand dollars just becomes a hygiene standard right so i hope you are excited and i hope you found this video valuable because here's the thing you see this qr code on your screen well guess what just scan this qr code and you can have this exact document the exact chat gpt tool all these prompts and everything that i just talked about in this video for absolutely no cost Yes, you don't have to pay me any money. You can literally download it for free, start executing and start building your entire business model canvas in order to scale to $100,000 per year. So here are your action items, right? So far, I want you to actually create your business model canvas, just like how I explained over here. I want you to come up with a name for your company, go select a domain name, go get a logo and go set up your website just like how I showed you. So in this video, you basically learned why exactly you should consider entrepreneurship and why starting a business is the best option in today's time. I talked a little bit about my story, my struggles and how I was able to overcome the system in order to build the business of my dreams. Then I introduced you to the best kind of business that you can get started with, which is the high ticket mentorship business and why exactly this business is better than the other options available to us. Then I kind of revealed to you the business model canvas and how you can go about filling each variable of the business model canvas, like the passion, price, niche, problem statement, value proposition, MVP and marketing message, channel delivery, and a lot more in this one video. And then I also showed you how you can use our AI bot in order to complete your business model canvas. Then I shared with you some examples of how you can create a business model canvas for a fitness business. Then I even shared with you one for a social media marketing agency as well. And I also gave you the list of the various kind of niches that you can get started with. Then we basically talked about website and domain where I showed you how you can name your company, set up your domain, set up your logo, creating a website, importing your funnel and setting up your calendar. We also talked about the roadmap towards making hundred thousand dollars plus per year. Now what's next? Basically in this video, that's what I literally covered. Now in the next video, I'll be talking about one important thing that a lot of gurus and YouTubers actually miss out on, especially when they're trying to tell you how to start an online business. A lot of the gurus focus on various kinds of tactical knowledge or strategic knowledge, but what they forget about is a very crucial component, which after coaching well over 1600 plus clients, I have realized is one of the most important things that you need in order to win in anything in life. So make sure to watch that video when it premieres live. Then you also have video number three that is coming shortly where I will be showing you how to generate leads using artificial intelligence. I'll be sharing those exact scripts, exact outreach messages, exact email templates that you can also utilize in order to go and get your first or next client. And finally, in video number four, I'll be talking about how to go about closing high ticket deals which is something that is going to be really, really awesome for you because we will be lit literally revealing our script uh, in order to close high ticket deals. And finally, 
So after that, you'll be learning how do you go about closing high ticket deals, right? So once you have started your business, once you have the mindset, once you have learned how to generate leads, I will show you how to go about closing those leads into customers because generating leads is not sufficient. You need to learn how to turn cold strangers into paying clients. And finally, I'll be hosting a live workshop where I'll be putting everything together and I'll be giving you the complete package of how do you go about launching your own successful online business and achieving $100,000 per year. And at the end of the workshop, there will also be a Q&A where you get to ask me any kind of question that you might have in regards to your online business or growing more clients or getting more clients and I would be more than happy to help. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity because I don't do these live workshops a lot. So make sure to save your spot by clicking the link in the description and saving the date and time, right? And for those of you who are watching this video in the future and chances are that you missed this workshop, that's completely okay. Feel free to use these videos for absolutely free and go get the dream clients that you want and build this high ticket business so that you can achieve the true freedom that you have been craving for. So Rohan Dhawan here and I want to thank you once again for actually watching this video till the end. Make sure to scan the QR code and download this document for the free. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this till the end.